So you are away? <gasps> good, good, good. <sighs> no, no, no. Do not be fearful of me. I am to help, not to hurt. I am friend. Oh, uh, uh, who? What? Uh, who are you? My name is Alec. And I will help you if you ask. Whew. Well, you gave me a start, Aaron. But tell me. What is this place? And why have I been locked up? And how long have I... Now let me tell. This is bad place for you. This is bad place because the Dark Ones, they are not mercy filled. The Dark Ones? Who are the Dark Ones? Ah! The four evils. They prison you here. You must be of big importance for them to lock you all up. But Eric will lose you. You just wait and see. You see? I told you I could help. Already I have lost you from your prison cell. Thank you, Eric. But tell me, why am I here in this this godforsaken place? No, Eric does not know. But there are others, others that you will meet. They will be much more knowledge. Now come, come quickly. You have much to do. Oh, look, look, look there. You have an earthly guide. They are said to be very cleverish indeed. An earthly guide? Yes, yes, look. They are on the other side. Whoa. Whoa. Well, now I must leave you. Uh, but first... <laughs> there! It's a gift. Take it! Oh, uh... No, 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 really. You don't have to, honestly. But I insist. You never know. It might be just of usefulness later. Well, uh, okay. Thank you, Iraq. Now I go. But I will be keeping eyes upon you. Well, okay. So you're my earthly guide. Hmm. Now what? Ciao, ciao, 
ni ma sai bo na bo si ma la ji ni kan tu mi sai yo yi ma yin tu mi xi ya ba guo zhao ni ji ji ba ge ba ge xiao ni ha fai yi pei i mean it goes that way ji ji yi bo ni ba ge ji shi ma ma gao ya yi wan ji ji ya dao ji ba ge ji 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 ba ji na ji ji ya yi ji ji ba ge ji Oh, I'm a bird. Look at me, look at that. It's see, we have company. Do we? Ooh, ah, say, hello, say that. Oh, hello. I didn't see you up there. I'm a young man with you. I must say, too, what the main stuff I've been like this. The only idea that I've been hanging around in this old age. But I'm going to jump to me. ยิ่งมาเข้าชาร์จดีชาร์จมาเสียอาจจะเรียกว่าเป็นยินดีที่จะช่วยกันยืนยันดีเสียดีแล้วนั่นเลยอันนี้เพราะเนี่ยโอ
as I always am. Oh. Hello. Do not wake my master. He gets very angry. Hmm. He does look a bit of a handful. Oh, believe me, he is. I was a fine figure of a man, but then I thought she woke him before dinner. And look at me now. Hmm. Can't be much fun, I'm sure, being ahead and all. I can assure you it is. All he does is sleep and eat. Some jail, huh? Mind you, he is very adept at decapitation. Look what happened when I woke him. Okay, okay, I get the message. I'll keep the noise down. Uh, I don't suppose you know how I can get out of this place, do you? Hmm. Let me think. Trink, trink, trink. Ah, yeah, of course. I remember now. Ouch! Ooh, are you okay? You can. After all this time, I'm used to it. Oh, good. So, um, are you going to tell me? Tell you what. How to get out of here? You were going to tell me. What? Oh, oh, oh yeah. Uh, now let me see. Uh, uh, you see, the master holds the key to the dungeon. If you can get it from him, without him waking, you will be free. Uh, but if he should wake, well, I don't think I need to explain. And that's your help, is it? Um, I'm sorry. I didn't get your name. Uh, I call me Ed. Ed the Hare. Ah, I'm doomed, aren't I? Hey, wait! Now listen, don't be so impatient. My master is not yet eaten. Perhaps you can find a way of increasing the potency of his daily crawl, if you know what I mean. Ah, like a Mickey Finn. Ah, uh, well, I, I know no one of that name, but you yourself might try. Shall we say, uh, a sleeping draft? Oh, right. Very clever. When you have to crawl, return here with it and place it next to me. I will wake my master, as I always do, and the crawl will do the rest. <laughs> well, it's not much, but at least it's a plan. Well, good. Now go. And remember, the stronger the crawl, the better. <laughs> well... I think we'll just play along and hopefully we'll wake up from this nightmare soon. Okay. Well, I ain't got nobody. Do, 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 do. I ain't got nobody. Do, 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 do. Oh my word, a visitor. Now there's a surprise. I don't get much company down here. Well you wouldn't, would ya? <laughs> now come close to me, lad, and let me get a good look at ya. Well, what do you think? Shall I? Oh well. So, what? Oh, I'm sorry, I mean, who are you? Oh, faggot's the name, and cooking's my game. <laughs> and my, what a fine yield of flesh you appear to be. <laughs> yield of flesh, madam. I will have it be known that I am Benjamin Spooner Briggs, captain of the Brigadine Mary Celeste. Hmm, captain, eh? Sounds very grand. I'll have to look that one up. Never done a captain before. Hmm. Might have to check me books. Now, excuse my ignorance, but when you say done a captain, look this up and check my books. Uh, what exactly do you mean? Well, you'll have to be cooked off, won't you? Can't serve your own now, can I, Briggsy, me lad? <laughs> Cook me? Why on earth would you want to cook me? Well, it's my job, you see. Any of you lost souls that should happen into my kitchen a fair game for Grunger's Grew. Ah, but I'm not actually a lost soul. I'm a mortal man. What? Alive? Living? Not yet dead? 
I'm afraid so. Oh my word! Now what are to do? I'm not sure as the rules are cooking up mortal men. Poor young grunger. Wager he'd never forgive his old man. I'll bet you he's picked you up so fast you'd hit the furthest wall. Well, perhaps I could help. What is it you need? Well, I'm not too sure, really. I knows. Why don't you runs off and find me something nice, tasty? Ooh, and dead. Uh, okay. I'll see what I can do. Best you do, my lad. Well, off with you. Young Grunjo wants to have his feet soon. Nice rump, though. Shame you're a mortal, brings me, lad. <laughs> Do not say a bloody word. Okay. Okay. Excellent. very much. That's just what I needed. I do love the drop of the hard stuff. <coughs> God bloody hell, that got into it. <sighs> That's much better. Okay. Now you be careful. I'm not happy about carrying this, but if you're sure. Us mortals, we do have feelings, you know.
car very much. That's better. Fancy a taste, lovely. <laughs> the potion. The only draft you bought was when you opened the door. No. Wow. You are ugly. to be quick. Excellent. So you are here at last. So who are you? I, young man, am the keeper of lost souls. You have done well to get this far. What is this place? To some this is home. To others it is a halfway house between their world and the next. This is the keep of lost souls. So tell me, am I dead? Dead? Why no. You are the walker between worlds. Destiny's weapon against fate. The Chosen One. Chosen One? Chosen to do what, exactly? <gasps> what the...? Yeah. Let me give you this. Sorry about that. Don't know what came over me. Well, why am I here? If I'm not dead. Only you and your earthly guide there can answer that. Now, choose a welcome gift and be off with you. We will meet again. That I am sure of. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Excellent. What? How oh, now? Some damn force walking over the rotten floorboards. Keep back. Keep back, I say. Keep back, you beast. <sighs> well, at least it looks like we're out of the dungeons. Ah, look at that. While well, someone still likes to keep pets, even in this horrible place. Hello? Is anyone out there? Hey, are you asleep? They really look hungry. If only I could find something to feed them with. Hmm. I tell you what, where's new mates when you need him, huh? <laughs> Old faithful, eh? Faithful, eh? Faithful, well, faithful, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. A man's fate should be more than this. I wonder who built wonder this. Who built What a stink! And before you say it, it isn't me. I wonder what we'll find next. <sighs> Lovely. Anisicus Celis. And what a lovely specimen you are. Hello, little fella. I will give you a new home and call you Oscar. <coughs> Excuse me. What? Oh, I say, we have a visitor. How lovely. Oh, what the... Oh, sorry. I forgot. Hang on. Do not be afraid. Is that better? <laughs> I've seen it all now. What? What's wrong? Ah, that's better. Let me introduce myself. I am Sir Jonathan Rothbottle, but everybody calls me Bugsy. Because of my work, you see. Ah. Nice to meet you. I'm Captain Benjamin Spooner Briggs. Most people call me Oi Oi Captain, or Captain for short. Must be because of my work. Ah, yes, I see. Well, 
Actually, I did. Not since I had that beast attack me. Bad tempered thing that he is. Beast? What beast? Ah, a hybrid creation of mine. I like to call it a wood gator. I'm sorry? A what? Wood gator, my lad. Sorry, Captain. A beastie that lives for wood. Loves it, he does. Cannot get enough of it. If he smells it, then watch out. Nothing stops him. Nothing, I tell you. So, if this wood gator eats wood, then why go for your eyes? Well, I was working away down here, and suddenly the floorboards about me started to creak. Some fool must have tried to walk over them. I wish people would just read the sign. Anyway, the wood dust rained down into my eyes and, well, I'm sure you can imagine the rest. Well, the little rascal will not hurt anyone anymore. I have him locked up in a room not far from here. Hmm. Well, it's been lovely chatting to you, but now I really must get on. Feel free to look around, but please, no touching. Oh, it's you. Well, yes, it is indeed, and oh, it's so nice to see you again, sailor boy. You know, you're like a knight in shining armor, you are. No, you really are. I tell you what, though, oh, yeah, do me a favor, would you take this bloody thing away from me? It's been digging in my entrails for days and days. Well, what is it? Well, bless my soul, or someone else's, I don't rightly know. And to be honest, I do not care. I'm just glad to be free again, 
and shot of that bloody thing. Oh, I see. But no, no, bye, bye, then, sailor boy. You Oh, yeah. These tunnels stretch for miles. More wooden walkways. Ah! I see your earthly guide is of much usefulness. And still you are keeping two of your leg limbs. This is good thing. Arak? What are you doing up there? Keeping eyes for crunchy crawlies. Crunchy crawlers. A gift for a gift, perhaps. Ah, but now I must go. I wonder what he meant by that. Oh, for the tears of the Pope, where did I put that bloody thing? I don't know. I lose myself. And can I find me? No. Hello? Hello? I say you in there. What? Go away. I'm far too busy. No visitors, no. Not until I find myself. I need to talk to you. Go away! Now, where was I? Ah, yes, myself. Now, what have I done with myself? Onega, eh? Mm. Well, I think this one is past caring. Hello? Uh, I think this might belong to you. What? Oh, me life, you've only gone and found me. Come in, my friend. Come on in now. Oh, thank you, young man. I tell you, I was beside myself with worry, so I was. Well, as a matter of fact, I wasn't beside myself. If you get me meaning. <laughs> uh, what actually is it? Oh, did myself miss me? I missed me. I did, I did miss me. You're just like a little piece of the Emerald Isle, so yeah. What? Oh, oh, I'm begging your pardon there now. What was the question? I said, what is it? What's in the bottle? You don't know, you say? Ah, strange that a lost soul such as yourself doesn't know a bottled soul when he sees one. It's me, me soul. I bless me soul. Now everything here has a soul bottle. Well, except the soulless ones, of course. The keeper, you see, he'll be the man that gives it to you when you enter the place. Mine is very old and very precious to me, myself and I. Oh, I see. Now, where's yours, I wonder? Yes, soul. Oh, mine? Mine's very safe. Very, very safe. 
I, well, no, that's good. A precious thing is the soul, and there are some around these parts that will do anything for a fresh one. You see, I had myself a good collection of lost souls. Take a look. Wow. What do you plan to do with them? Do with them? Why nothing? I found them on me travels. I collect anything from anyone. Now, maybe one day they will be reclaimed by their rightful owners. Ah, but until then, I will keep them. Safe. Hmm. So you know this place quite well then? Ah, that I do. Every nook and every cranny. Ah, cranny, yes. I've met her. A nice woman. She smiles a bit. I beg your pardon, sir? Ah, uh, never mind. Well, thank you again. Now, feel free to browse and if you want something, then just ask. No touching. Hmm, interesting. Everywhere. Oh, yeah. You bring me to the nicest of places. It smells very damp down here. Not more tunnels. Impressive. Die. He's 
his brain. I get his liver. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Uh, do excuse me. I was just... Go. Away. I wonder if you could help me to get out of here. Go. Away. Black Hawk trust no one. Black Hawk only trust birds. Birds, Black Hawk's friends. Black Hawk. Is that what they call you? That's a good name. Black Hawk. That bird up there is really annoying. Raven. He never stop. He annoy Black Hawk. Very much. Maybe I could help. How? Oh, I know this one. How? You're gonna die. No. How you help? Oh, I see. I'm sorry. Well, I don't have a plan just yet. But give me some time, and I will come up with something. Oh, not good. You no idea. I will help you, Black Hawk. This I promise. Pale face, speak with forked tongue. But if you help Black Hawk, then. Black Hawk trade with pale face. Black Hawk, my friend, I give you my word as captain of the Mary Celeste. Black Hawk, hold you to your word. Okay. We really do need a plan to sort out that bloody bird. Many thanks, friend. Take this as memento of our meeting. Oh, oh, thank you, Black Hawk. But really, there's no need for. Shh. No buts. Now, go. Do you know what? Every gift tells a story. Okay. Okay. This place is huge. Ah! <sighs> 
Well, I'm just about sick of it now. I'm captain of the Mary. It's all right for you. You don't have to carry it. Okay. Seeing as it's not moving now. I am not a happy sailor, you know. I bet you're afraid of something. Well, maybe we'll find out, eh? Whatever that is, it doesn't seem too pleased to see us. If only we could understand what it was saying. Now, why don't you just... <laughs> um, I didn't think you'd want that bit translated. <laughs> Seeing is believing, eh? <laughs> okay, but um, is this class to stealing? All right. 
Okay. But I need to be quick. Gift. Ah, see you again, I will. Am I glad to be rid of that? I can hear running water in the distance. Let's hope it leads outside. Come on. Okay, okay. No need to be so rough. If you'd have asked me nicely, I would have given you those items anyway. Luck and magic, eh? Well, I could certainly do with some of that. Oh, okay. Dice. Well, thank you. Baubles of luck and magic, eh? You are strange. Very strange. Trust me. Roll the dice. It will bring you luck. Ah, oh, well. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. These dice are loaded. They always come up with the same numbers. Hmm. Now how's that going to help?
Oh, hello. And uh, who are you? <coughs> ah, I see. Here, let me see if I can help you. So good. It's been a while since I've been able to move with joy. Let alone speak. Uh, no problem. You're very welcome. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't get your name. They call me Quagmire. Well, uh, Quagmire. Perhaps you can help me. How do I escape from this bloody swamp? What does that mean? I don't know, do I, you silly bugger? The last person that was trapped in here told me that. Ah, okay. Thank you. Uh, I think. Uh, tell you what, if you release me from these ear manacles and this damn ball and chain, I'll tell you the answer to the other two ways out. Okay, I'll um, see what I can do. Say, say, the boy, Cooey. Oh no, not you again. Yes, I'm afraid it is me, say, the boy, and I was wondering if you could help me out of this bog. Oh, I suppose so, if I must. <sighs> Hurry up, Briggsy, shake a leg, get a move on. No, 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 no! No! Now look what you've done, you clumsy man! Ah! Oh, oh, I'm sorry about that. Mind you, you did say shake a leg. <laughs> no, that's all right, really. You know, I was feeling a little legless when I was thrown out of the inner sin and dumped in here. In of sin? Yes, it's a little place that some of us poor lost souls do like to frequent from time to time. Hmm. I'll keep an eye out for that place. Oh, yes. oh. Here now, you take this. It's been digging in my back ever since I've been in that bleeding bog. Oh, okay, thanks. You know, that might come in handy. Well, thanks again then, sailor boy. Bye, bye. I expect I will see you soon. Oh, yes. oh that's better. Not too soon, I hope. He gets worse every time we see him. And before you say it, it isn't me. Oh, 
My bird, what is that? Bang, bang, bang on the door. Could you help me, please? I need your help. Come on, the end. Open the door. Oh, nine, nine, nine. I, I would be too worried. I would not sleep for a week. I mean you no harm. Please let me in. Oh, 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 nine, nine, nine. You must go away now, please. Oh, go on. Please. Oh, oh, oh yeah, okay. But only for a little while, yeah? Thank you, sir. So, uh, what is this place? This place? Why, this is the office of the warriors. And I am the very master, of course. Warriors? Yeah, I am here to worry about what the others are worrying about, you see. It's very simple. So, what are you worrying about? What he does? I don't have the time to worry about you worrying about me worrying about them. Now, I must get on. Well, can I just stand still and watch for a while? Oh, um, yeah, well, okay. But you must make a promise not to get in the way at all. Okay, I promise. Oh dear, I am very worried about him.
Yeah. It smells very damp down here. what we'll find next. Ah, oh, yep. Us mortals, we do have feelings, you know. Hello? I say, hello? Hello? I say, you there. Charmer. <sighs> this man reeks of rum. He's as drunk as a skunk. Benjamin Spoon of Briggs, Captain of the Mary Mary who? Oh, never mind. Now who, should I dare ask, might you be? Not Teddy. Now clear off. Before I send in hits on ya. Okay, okay. I only wanted to say hello. Hmm. Well, we don't like strangers. Kind of different to the usual scum around here. My name's Nora. Nora Ratty. Oh, well, Nora, do you think you could help me get out of this stinky, smelly sewer? Smelly? The 
This is my home. Besides, it's fluffy. Oh well, worth a shot then. Very friends. That would be rats. Oh, thanks. That would be a great help. Mm. But if I ask you to help ya, what's in it for me? Well, what do you want? Mm. Well, I like to drink. Now and again. Ah, okay, well, I'll do my best. Bring me a drop of drop. And the army of furry friends will help you. But I can't whistle. What? You can't whistle? Well, that ain't my problem, is it? You figure it out. Oh well. Now what do I do? Smells very damp down here. Oh, okay. Thanks. No problem, me. I'll go see them. I hope the advice be of some use to you in your quest. Whatever that might be. Ha <laughs> I'm off now for a plan. At the end of the first thing. And I deserve one not to be knocked out for this time. Well done. And before you say it, it isn't me. Oh, yeah.
Oh, yeah. It smells very damp down here. I wonder what we'll find next. Oh, yeah. Us mortals, we do have feelings, you know. You uh, please take this from me. I did it from a friend of yours, and he's very, very worried about you. And I'm a little bit worried myself about being worried about your friend, being worried about you, being worried about this. And I want you to take it so I don't have to worry no more. Oh, thank you, but who? Bless me, a stranger here in Dartmere. Well now, that is a rare thing. A rare thing indeed. <laughs> and it seems to me, stranger, that you've got yourself into a spot of bother. Bother? What do you mean? I had nothing to do with that. Ah, for sure. But who'll believe you, hmm? But... Now, with the price of a dram, that'll be a coin in my tin to you. I could perhaps be of help. 
Well, yes, but... <sighs> well? Evening, sir. Care for a drink? It's on the ass for strangers, if you know what I mean. No, not for me, thank you. I'd like to keep a clear head. You sure now, sir? It's all good, strong stuff. No, no, no. But thank you anyway. There's only one spirit I want at the moment. Well, if you change your mind later, you know where I am. I say, you there, stranger, why don't you join me? I'm very worried about him, you know. You see, he does not himself of late. I can't put me finger on it, but there is something decidedly odd about him. Something odd? Something odd about who? Why, the mayor, of course. <coughs> you see, I've been with him for such a time. <coughs> now, I could swear I knew his every foible. <coughs> but just of late, well... <coughs> <coughs> there he is! That's him! He's the soul taker! You do realise, of course, that I'm innocent. I've only just arrived in Darkmere. How could I possibly be this soul-taker creature? Meal, are you? Well, be your goal then. How dare you, sir, to even offer such filth? <laughs> ah, because crutches and squirmies, I smell. Hey, Rag, it's you. A it is, and once again you're all locked up. This is a bad thing. Yes, I know. Can you help? <laughs> ah, with wrigglies and crunchies and squirmies inside. <laughs> Perhaps Iraq might be finding such helpfulness in other places. Oh. Now I go, all filled up. But soon I will send some helpfulness. Thank you, Iraq. Ah, no need for thankfuls. It's a gift. This is an order for your release signed by the mayor. It seems that you have friends in high places. Friends in high places? What friends? Mr. Onegus, no less. The mayor's own advisor. Seems he persuaded his worship that you were a fine and respectable person. More a returner of souls than a taker, he says. So, you're free to go. Excellent. But first, I'm going to escort you to the mayor's chambers, where his worship wishes a private word in your shell, I... After you, Mr. Detective. Is it me? 
Or did one of the mare's eyes just sink lower than the other? Oh, come in. It seems we have done you a great injustice, my good fellow. My dear friend and trusted advisor, Onega here, tells me that you once found and returned his own soul intact. Is this true? It is, your worship. Onegus also tells me that you are a great solver of puzzles, a master of the enigma, and a finder of solutions. Is this also true? Well, I... Ah, uh, it is that, sir, your worship. I've seen it with my own eyes, and I've heard it with my own ears. A bit of a detective, I believe you might be calling him. In that case, Captain Briggs, I hereby bestow upon you the title Detective of Dark Mirror. Yes, but, but well, you see, I... Ah, uh, a grand title, your worship. And what about a nice badge to go with it? And perhaps a map so that the young fella might find his way around without too much fuss. Oh, and he'll need a notepad and a pen to list all those clues now, won't he? Well, I... Excellent thinking, Onegus. Now, go, detective. You have the freedom of Dark Mirror. Solve these crimes and let the good folk rest easy. Well, I'm not really sure if I can, you, you see. Unless, of course, you would rather return to your cell. That can be arranged quite easily. Mr. Briggs, sir, there's been another one. It be the deputy mayor. He's been found behind the jail. His soul has been taken. Well, Detective Briggs, what are you waiting for? Your first case awaits, and there is no time to waste. Now go, and go quickly. Ah, well. It's always nice to know we have a choice in these matters, don't you think? Hmm, interesting. Actually, it's Mr. Not Miss. Oh? What? You can't be my sister. I haven't even got a sister. No, not sister. Mr. I'm a man. Tan, you say? That's never a tan. It's more like a beard to me. Bit unsightly for a girl of your age. Do you have any rubbing paper and some charcoal? What'd you say? Caper in a dark hole? Still looks like a beard to me. Anyway, what is it you're after, miss? I think I'll just take a look round. Why don't you have a look around, dear? You might see something you like. Hello? Excuse me? Hello? I say, madam? Hello, I say, madam? Hello? I say, madam? Oh, what is the point? I'll just take the damn things and be done with it. Hmm, interesting. Interesting.
Good day to you, sir. How may I be of service? I was wondering, do you make the shoes for all of the people of Darkmere? Each and every one, sir. Leastwise, all those who deserve them. All individual designs and all my own work. I pride myself on the fact that I can recall every pair of boots, shoes and sandals alike. And I've never had a pair return, sir. Well, in that case, you could be of help. Tell me, have you ever made any boots or shoes with this sign on the heel? Oh yes, I remember these all right. Four pairs I had to make, all different sizes and all with that odd sign on the heel. Must be the secret lodge, that's what I reckon. A secret lodge? Which secret lodge? Well I don't know, do I? It's supposed to be a secret. Hmm, interesting. Well, can you remember who ordered them? Ah well now, that's where it all gets interesting, see? The order itself was actually handed to the old blind fellow who cages at the end of entry roll. He in turn was told to give the order to one of the street urchins who then brought it to me. A strange thing though, when the urchin brought the order to the shop, it felt as if he had somebody with him. I swear I could hear them breathing, but the lad was alone, all but his shadow. Ah. So the old blind man had no idea who'd handed him the order for the boots? No, sir. All he could say for sure was that whoever it was had the smell of death and the smell of the paddock about him. Hmm. Interesting. Detective? Uh, I say, detective, we found another one. Can you hear me? Who's responsible for these terrible things? Well, it'll be that old soul taker, I figure. Ah, well, that's that solved then. What do you want here, stranger? I have nothing to say to you, nor any of your secret friends. What do you mean, secret friends? You all think I don't know what's going on, but I see. I see all even with me burnt out eyes. Oh yes, I see all. Now be gone from this place, and take your dark secrets with you. But I don't understand. I have no secrets, nor secret friends. I'm just trying to stop the Soul Taker and put an end to this horror. It's true, Father. He is no Soul Taker. The Mayor himself asked him for his help. The Mayor? What Mayor have we now? He hides away in his chambers. Rarely do we see him, and when he is to be seen, why, he covers up like some frightened leper. The Mayor has changed, I tell you, and not for the better. You said that you see all. What exactly did you mean by that? Perhaps you'd better be off. Talk to those two brothers. As thick as thieves they are, and as bad as vipers pit. Which two brothers? The Scourge brothers, of course. Danny and Billy. They keep the stable down away, and an old rabbit wire to boot. Now go. I've had me fill of you. Well, anyway, thanks for your time. It was a big help. Hmm. Interesting. A big help. Hmm. Well, at least I think it was.
customer. Well now, what can I do for you, sir? Uh, I'm not really sure. What sort of pies do you have? Well, the disc pies, sir. Yes, but what sort of pies? Meat pies, sir, and of the best quality, I can assure you. Well, I'm sure, but what type of meat? Well, it's just meat, sir. Just meat, you say? Um, let me ask you. Do you sell many pies? You know, I have a feeling I know the answer to this one. Well, no, sir, not as such. Fact is, I've never sold so much as one. Be honest, I can't even give them away. You mean you can't even give them away? Well, sir, every morning I set my good and wholesome pies at the foot of the mayor's statue, just in case any poor lost soul should feel might peckish. Strange, though. Nobody ever takes one, so every afternoon I'll bring them all back into the shop and put them on display. So, uh. When did you actually make these pies? Well, that would have been when I first got here, you see. I seem to remember acquiring some meat from the old abattoir and making up a fresh batch. Mind you, how long ago that was, I couldn't say. Not much call to keep track of time round here, really. I mean, it's not like we were ever likely to go anywhere else, now is it? Hang on a minute, you must be that detective fella. So, have you caught it yet? The taker, I mean. Uh, no. No, not yet. But I am working on it. Then may I offer some words of advice that may or may not be of help to you? Well, yes. Please do. Who do you know that likes to collect things, eh? There are those who aspire towards the ultimate goal. Seven from limbo for one living soul. Now, I think it's best that you get on. You still have a soul taker to catch. Yes, of course, and thank you, madam. What a charming lady. And so helpful. Hmm. Interesting. He's not about. Urgent business with the mayor. Perhaps I could be of service, Mr. Detective. No, thank you. I'm just looking. Scourge is a name. Danny Scourge. Maybe you've heard of me. And my brother Billy. Ah, Scourge. Now you would be the brothers that own the abattoir and the stables, I believe. Neither of which are open, I've noticed. Well, I ain't much call for good quality meat round here. We just use it for storage nowadays. And the odd old knees up, you know what I mean. <laughs> oh dear. So tell me, Mr. Scourge, do you or your brother ever let out the abattoir or stable to anybody? For storage purposes, I mean, of course. <coughs> oh, <coughs> oh, God, blimey, nearly had me lungs up then. Well, I wouldn't know about that. Me big brother takes care of all that sort of thing. I just sort of help him out here and there. Know what I mean? In fact, he says that I'm, um, uh, oh, yeah, an, an integral part of the business and says that what I don't know can't cause me no harm. And I'm sure he's right. So where is your brother today? He has urgent business with the mayor. Ah, I see. It must be very important business indeed. So, how come you're not there? Well, someone's got to keep an eye on this place, ain't they? I mean, you never know who might come in. Hmm. Yes, of course. Well, I must bid you good day, Mr. Scourge. And thank you for your time. My pleasure, Mr. Detective. Now, you're sure nothing takes your fancy before you go? 
Well, not just at the moment, Mr. Scourge, but perhaps another time. Hmm. Interesting. Whoa. Well, either she can't spell, or she's trying to tell us something. Your business is, sir. I'd like to speak to the mayor. His worship is very busy and may not be disturbed. Ah, but I'm here on official business concerning the very capture of the Soul Taker. I must talk with the mayor and inform him of my progress thus far. I don't have a real suspect yet, but what I do have is a theory. Oh, a theory, eh? Well, tell me more, my lad. Well, sir, I believe this to be the work of more than one person. In fact, I would go so far as to say a group of people. Four, at the very least. What? What's that you say? A cult? Well, nip it in the butt, man. Well, I didn't exactly say cull. Find the ringleaders, and the rest will come crawling from the woodwork. Well, off you go, detective. No time like the present. No time to lose. Hmm. Interesting. Excuse us, Mr. Mr. Detective. We're sorry to bother you. Especially as you are, obviously, in mid-sleuth. It's just that we thought it was best to... Introduce ourselves, you know. Make you aware of who we are and what it is we do. For these poor unfortunate individuals, individuals Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Dugood, at, at your, your service. service. Now look, monsters I can cope with. Demons I can handle. Savage, red-eyed hell dogs, bring them on. But bloody do-gooders, well, that's all I need. Let's get back to sleuthing, shall we? Well, it was nice to meet you both, but I really must get on. Absolutely, detective. Off you go. And don't worry about him. We'll, we'll take, take good, good care, care of him. Of him. wants to talk to you. He said he has something to tell you. Okay then, let's go and see him. Ah, but first tell me, was it you who threw the snowball with the message inside? <laughs> My father wrote the message, but I made the snowball and I got you with the first shot. <laughs> well, come on then, let's go and see your father. Well, a 
according to my young friend here, you have something you'd like to tell me. I will not say much. For those that do, it seems they soon lose their souls. At the end of this lane, out of sight of the eye, there is an unbeaten track. Find and walk this path. There you will meet good and sound advice. Thank you, sir. I do appreciate your time. Now go. Time is running out for you and for the very soul of Darkmere. Entre vous, Monsieur Detective. So, how did you know that it would be me at the door? Monsieur, am I not a mystic? Am I not most formidable at my job? Well, I hope so. You see, I was told that you could help me, but of course, you already knew that, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. So, can you help me find the Soul Taker? Mon Dieu, s'il vous plaît, Monsieur. Do not say those two words within this house. Shadows may seek even this place. Hey, come on. Give her a chance at least. So, what is it that you see? Monsieur Detective, I shall tell you. But only once. Look again at the wall. You may progress further. Left, right and center then on to the truth. Yes, but which wall? That is all I have for you, Monsieur. Bon chance and adieu. Merci, Madame. You have been most helpful. Au revoir. Hmm. Interesting. Detective, uh, I say detective, we found another one. It's Mrs. Hudson. She must have been caught unawares while setting out her pies. Of all the folk in Darkmere, it had to be poor Mrs. Hudson. Help Dippity Dog, Mr. Briggs, I tell you, I never seen nothing like this in all my years in this here Darkmere. Is this exactly how you found the body? Yes, sir. Ain't touched nothing, sir. A cork. Mrs. Hudson's chef's hat. Hmm. A key. Is that a clue, detective, sir? It may well be, my friend. It just may well be. Interesting. Excellent. Excellent.
Hmm. Interesting. That's interesting. Listen, I think you may have dropped these. I believe these are your spectacles. What? You come around for some more, you say? Huh. Don't think I've got any more. What is it again? No. These are your glasses. I beg your pardon. I'll have none of that language in this shop. These, are they yours? Now look, I've told you once. No, these are your glasses. All oh, my life, I've been looking everywhere for them. Ah, now that is much better. Thank you very much, miss. And is there anything else I can do for you? No. Thank you, madam. You've done quite enough. Interesting. Oh, you poor thing. 
What in this world have they done to you? And why, for goodness sake? <coughs> Who are you, I wonder? If only you could speak. <coughs> Are you trying to tell me something? <coughs> ah, so this is your mayor, and you're being held prisoner. But why? Um, I am a horse. No, 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 that can't be right. I love this horse. Hmm, interesting. Check on old bear face in here, and then to a little bit more business. <laughs> Shh. I have to go now, but I will get you out of here, I promise. Hmm. Well, you might as well be getting off and grab yourself a flagon at the inn. I've no more need of you tonight, Danny boy. I'll see you up a bit later. I'm just gonna give them old nags of ours a nose back, and then I'll probably join you up for a job. <laughs> horses for courses, me old son. Horses for courses. Aha. Uh -huh. Of course. That's what the creature was trying to tell me. Interesting. This seems to be some type of crematorium. Fwah. The smell of burning flesh is very strong here. Well, at least we know now why the snow isn't cold, don't we? Well, I think we should get back to Darkmere and wind this case up. And if I'm right, we don't have much time until the Taker strikes again. And my guess is the Registrar is next. Jailer? I would like you to summon all of the good citizens of Darkmere to a meeting inside the Town Hall immediately. What, all of them, sir? Yes, Jailer, my good man. Every last one of them. But, sir... You may tell them that Detective Briggs is about to unveil the Soul Taker of Darkmere, and any that do not attend will be assumed as guilty as the Taker itself, and therefore punished as befits. Yes, sir, Detective, sir.
Well, wish me luck. Think to question the snow. Now I've come far in this world, from the dungeons of grandeur to your very own dark moon. But no matter how fantastic things have appeared, there has always been a reason and a rhyme for each of them. You see, there is no snow falling upon dark moon. All that falls from this sky are the stark white remains of the burned and forgotten soulless ones. Let me explain, good folk of Darkmere. Who among you can remember when the so-called snow first began to fall? Does it not seem more than a coincidence that the snow began to fall as the first poor victims also began to fall at the hands of the Soul Taker? And have you never asked yourselves where the Taker came from and why here in Darkmere? A Soul Taker, as you may or may not know, is a malevolent shadow, a shapeless, formless child, spawned before dark generations. But a soul taker is not free to roam the realms of limbo at will. No, a soul taker must be summoned, and a price must be paid for the summoning of such a creature. So, who would be prepared to perform such a rite? And more to the point, to what aims? Among the good people of Darkmere, there exists, shall we say, a secret society. Ah, but this is no charitable group of prominent citizens, anonymously aiding the needy. No, this is an evil, greedy, corrupt society, whose lust for wealth and power means that they will stop at nothing to get what they want. The society meet in the small hall at the end of Dagger Lane. It consists of four members, one of which they consider the High Priest. Or perhaps I should say, Priestess. What do you think, Miss Blackley? Ah, uh, what? Ah, uh, of course, Miss Blackley. You can't hear me, can you? And I'm sure you can barely see me also. Mr. Scourge, how nice to see you. Ah, there he is. The landlord of the very aptly named in of sins. A fine upstanding citizen, as I'm sure you'll all agree. Take a good look at these people, ladies and gentlemen. These people that you know and recognize. Take a good look, for what I'm about to tell you will not sit well. Within this world that is neither here nor there, there is one thing that you all have in common. One thing left that you can at least treasure, your own soul. Now, the Keeper has given each of you your own soul bottle, and it's up to you to keep it safe. Ah, but these souls are not just precious to you. There are those that collect and trade in the souls of others. With each stolen soul comes a little more power. Since my arrival in Darkmere, I have been given and found many clues. Some helpful, some not so helpful, but all relevant. I took a charcoal rubbing from the door at the end of Dagger Lane, and I took it to the shoemaker, who confirmed that he'd made four pairs of boots, all with the very same symbol on the heel. The design for the boots was handed to the blind beggar, who in turn took it to the shoemaker. The blind beggar stated that the messenger had the smell of death about him. Also the smell of the fields. Hay, in fact. I do believe that Mr. Scourge here is the proud owner of an abattoir and a stable. Two odors that would certainly match that description. I also found strands of hay on and around some of the victims. Miss Blackley. Ah, yes. Of course, you're a little on the deaf side. Oh, and I see that you need to wear glasses. These I found at the scene of the crime. I recognized them because I'd seen Miss Blackley wearing them earlier. And then it struck me. Why would anyone 
so partially sighted, go without her glasses. These, I believe, belong to you, Miss Blackley. You foolishly left them at the shoemakers. You took them off, of course, in able to look for the design with your perfectly good eyes. Now, the pair that you're wearing now, I took from the shop of Onegas. Let's face it, anybody who genuinely relies on spectacles will know immediately their own pair from another. What? Never heard so much rubbish in all my life. Heard, did you say, Miss Blackley? And without the aid of a trumpet. Now, for those of you who cannot see, this is a stopper, a plug, a cork. You will find these in any inn or tavern. Plug in the necks of those fine jugs of ale. A good landlord will always have a number of these about his person. Now this one I found on the ground next to the dear old pie lady. A lady, I might add, who offered up two significant pearls of wisdom. The first was a question. Who do you know that likes to collect things, she asked. The second, a simple but telling saying. There are those who aspire towards an ultimate goal, seven from limbo for one living soul. A note had been passed to me that led me to investigate the Inn of Sins. Now you may be surprised to learn that beneath the inn there is a secret passage. In one direction, the passage leads directly to a spot beneath the very meeting place of the secret society. But in the other, it leads directly beneath the statue of the mayor. There were no footprints beside the pie lady, because the soul taker's accomplice, on this occasion, only had to stretch out from the opening to retrieve the soul. But as he did so, something slipped from his pocket. Yours, I believe. And finally we come to my old friend Onegas. Onegas and I have crossed paths before. He's a collector, you know. He just loves to collect things. He has a special room. Oh, not here in Darkman, but down in the lower echelons. That is where he keeps his collection, safe and away from drying eyes. I've been inside that room, and I've seen them. Row upon row of souls labelled and filed and ready for the highest bidder. You know, he once questioned me on the whereabouts and the safety of my own soul. My living soul. Now, where's yours, I wonder? Yes, sir. The Taker is here. It sits among us. Ladies and gentlemen, that poor featureless creature that you see there has for some time been a captive shackled and chained, locked in the stables, far away from the public eye. As you can see, the flesh from his face has been carefully removed, perhaps by an expert slaughterman. Ladies and gentlemen, this poor faceless creature is none other than your very own mayor. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you your soul taker. when summoning and meddling with the great powers of darkness, as our four conspiring friends have discovered. People of Darkmere, the Soul Taker has been banished. Your mayor has been returned. Where are you going? Are you leaving us? Yes, I'm afraid I probably am. My father said, but thanks to you, the snow has stopped.
Who do you think you are throwing your weight around like this? Okay, I get the message. Ladies and gentlemen, you've arrived at the design room. Now, please ensure that you take all of your belongings with you. We hope you've enjoyed your travelling with Rack the Brewing Railways, and, uh, well, you know, we get you there. Eventually. Hello? How do I get across? Are you okay? What? Who is this trespasser? What is he doing walking around my lovely creation? If he hurts her, I will. Wait here, Jeff Roby, old fella. He could help us out of this mess. Yes, you're right, he could. Hello? Hello? Janet, Janet are here? Wave, Wave if you can hear me. Oh, okay. Good. Now listen carefully. The place that you are now in is the machine. It gives power to the whole of the keep. But she's gone into lockdown because of a fault and I need to fix her. Well, I hope you're getting all this. I, I need the bridge extended so I can get over to you and fix her heart before the dark ones return. Now, firstly, I need to repair the track near Tower 5. Once you've done that, come back and I'll tell you more. Hey, Speedy! Get a move on! Ladies and gentlemen, you have a right. Hello? Are you still there? Oh, 
Oh, oh yeah, oh. Ladies and gentlemen, you've arrived at the fuel room. Now, please ensure that you take all of your belongings with you. We hope you've enjoyed your travelling with Rack the Brewing Railways, and, uh, well, you know, we get you there. Eventually. Ladies and gentlemen, you have arrived at Tower 5. Now, please ensure that you take all of your belongings with you. We hope you've enjoyed your travelling with Rack the Brewing Railways and, uh, well... Have you done it yet? What's taking you so long? Ladies and gentlemen, you've arrived at the design Now, please ensure that you take all of your belongings with you. We hope you've enjoyed your travelling with Rack the Brewing Railways. Hey, Speedy, get a move on! Oh, good. you done that then. About time. Well, well, next, next you, have you have to ride the train on the towers to light them up. See, See the track is a circuit and the train carries the electric charge. You have to go full circle, okay? I just wish he would shut up. Don't, don't worry, worry, baby. Daddy will yeah, fix you soon, don't, don't you worry. worry. Now, if a job's worth doing, it's worth sending old Slocum. Ladies and gentlemen, you've arrived at the design room. Now, please ensure that you take all of your belongings with you. 
We hope you enjoyed your travelling with Brack the Brewing Railways and, uh, well, you know, we get you there. Eventually. Great! Oh, you're taller than I thought. <laughs> hmm. Right, I need you to get something to patch her up with. Once this is done, she'll be on full power and the exits will open. I'll meet you at the heart room. Oh, and please hurry up. We hope you've enjoyed your travelling with Rack the Brewing Railways and, uh, well, you know, we get you there. Eventually. Take all of your belongings with you. We hope you've enjoyed your travelling with Rack the Brewing Railways and, uh, well, you know, we get you there. Eventually. Daddy will fix you soon, don't you worry. Good. Now hurry up before she goes critical. Good. Hurry up before she goes critical. Oh, well, it's not much, but I'll see what I can do.
what's going on now? Oh my word, what's happening? Where am I? I was just having a nice little snooze in and minding my own business. Yeah, going back things and then now I find myself here, I don't know where I am. Did I get right up here then? Yeah, I wonder what this lever does. Oh! Okay then, what about this one? Oh no! We're off! Oh, it's okay, Mr. Genesis, sir. I will fix this track for you with the help of my new best friend. Now, mate! No! When will he ever learn? Excellent. 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 Lock.
It's very dark down here. <gasps> what? <laughs> Me, I would turn to drink. 
Uh, well, that's the reason I think he should be the, uh, the uh, King of Limbo. Yeah, he had to be the King of Sins, but at least he kept his daddy limbs. I think that we should be crowning him the King of Limbo. Take it away, Peter, baby. That's cool. Walk my kind of poor boy too what, what, Working for the likes of me and you What more can a poor boy say But I could use your help in any way We've all had fun, you must agree Even though interactively But now we feel that Brick should be The king of limbo I do what a doobie-doo-wop A doobie-doo-wop A doobie-doo-wop A doobie-doo-wop The king of limbo A doobie-doo-wop A doobie-doo-wop A doobie-doo-wop A doobie-doo-wop A doobie-doo-wop A doobie-doo-wop King of limbo Damn your puny mankind. Oh, my dear brother, you are such a poor loser. Double or nothing, my brother. I accept. The bull. Where is the bull? It is where your precious mankind's curiosity might find it. Then let the battle commence. Oh, it already has, dear brother. Already Forget reality. Surrender to your darkest.